Roberta Raspulli is on Bella Bell. Uh, tell me about the two races you've been on or how you saw her improve from the first one to the second one. Um, when uh, we won the San Clemente, I think she, she, ran, uh, she ran a very green down the lane. Um, actually, it was in a race after a long layoff and uh, I was very surprised about the performance she put down. She won pretty easy. And also in the in the Del Mar Oaks, it was a, was a very good uh, was a very good performance behind the field like Spinderella. So um, look, she's been training a good. Uh, she's doing everything okay. Uh, obviously, it's not the easiest races in the world like um, any any other races. But we are here for uh, for trying, and we go we go for it. I assume the turf might be not quite as firm as what she was on in California. Do you think that'll make a, a difference? Um, the way she's running, I don't think she's might gonna have any problem with um, a little bit. Um, a good a soft ground or whatever is going to be tomorrow but um, uh, as I said I think she's a she's improving a lot even a, a ma a mentally wise and um, I just hope it will have a, some a little bit of speed on the, in the race which is going to help her and uh, you know as a, it's the first time she traveled in America so we have to see how, how, how she come in Keeneland for the first time and uh, we go from there. And obviously that was an outstanding filly that she caught in the Del Mar Oaks so uh, no disgrace there. Ideally, how would you like for the race to unfold for you? Look, uh, the, the best probably for her is having a couple of horses ahead of her and having a target. And um, it's going to be tough, you know, if you have to go leading the race and um, uh, grab the race from the, from the neck from yourself and uh, almost for a track like a Keeneland and she never been for. So the ideal, the, the ideal race probably would be to have a, a couple of targets ahead of her.